Carl Azus for CNN 10, and Fridays are awesome. We're thankful to have you watching as we wrap up the week with stories on airport security and an ultra marathon coming up. First, a partial U.S. government shutdown turns 21 days old on Friday, tying the record length of time for when the government's been partially shut down. It's been that way because the president and Congress haven't agreed on funding for it. President Donald Trump and most Republicans want that funding package to include about $5.7 billion for the construction of a wall or barrier between the U.S. and Mexico. Most Democrats oppose the construction of the wall, so they don't want that money included in the funding package. Yesterday, President Trump visited McAllen, Texas, a town at the U.S.-Mexico border, to make his case. The American people will hear directly from our frontline border agents about the tremendous flood of illegal immigration, drug trafficking, human trafficking. They just go where there's no security, where you don't even know the difference between Mexico and the United States. There's no line of demarcation. They just go out, and where there's no fencing or walls of any kind, they just make a left into the United States. They don't go through your points of entry. They go right through. And if we had a, a barrier of any kind, a powerful barrier, whether it's steel or concrete. If we had a barrier, they wouldn't be able to make that turn. And they wouldn't even bother trying. And you also have the criminal gangs coming in. They don't walk through the points of entry. They come where nobody's around. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi opposes the barrier. She's called the president's proposal expensive and ineffective. The Democrat from California says new infrastructure, roads, technology, and personnel could better secure the border. With Republicans and Democrats holding strongly to their positions and blaming each other for the government shutdown, some officials say the White House is considering declaring a national emergency to get the wall built. That could provide the funding to construct the barrier without approval from Congress, but it's controversial. Some say it's a legal use of presidential powers, some say it's not. So if the president declares a national emergency, and if his administration is sued for doing it, it could ultimately be up to the Supreme Court to decide what happens. not just a clothing brand, Nike comes from the Greek word for victory. In fact, Nike is said to be the last word a messenger exclaimed at the end of the very first marathon. He'd run about 26 miles to tell his fellow Greeks that the Athenian army had defeated the Persians. And of course, a marathon today commemorates the 26 plus miles the messenger ran. But for some people, that's just not enough. They prefer to run more than twice that in a day as part of an event that puts the word ultra in ultra marathon. In 2018, the world's longest desert ultra marathon was run across Dubai, 270 kilometers in just five days. That's 168 miles. This race uh, on the Moon Desert uh, ultra marathon, each and every single day was a distance of longer than a marathon. It's not something that is taken on lightly. The El Marmoun Ultramarathon is 19 kilometers longer than the previous longest desert run, the Marathon de Sable in Morocco, and has attracted 214 runners from around the world. Good morning, uh, I'm Magda, and this is... Hi, I'm Ian, uh, from New Zealand. I'm from California. Yeah, today is 70 k's in the desert. Yesterday was stage one, we did 50 k's. Tomorrow's the big day, 100 k's, and then 
One more 50k and we're done. Cruise home. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun today. A standard marathon is just over 42 kilometers, or 26.2 miles, based on the fabled run by a Greek soldier between Marathon and Athens to announce the Athenian victory over the Persians in 490 BC. But there are risks to pushing the body to such extremes. An ultramarathon is a sports deficit activity. There is no way a body can take in as many calories as it burns at the same rate. So the water and the sodium content is extremely, extremely important. There was one athlete that on the first day collapsed unconscious because he did not take in the amount of hydration that he needed as well as the sodium and electrolytes. Desert temperatures can also fluctuate wildly, from freezing at night to scorching in the day. Here we are at about 25, 23, 24 K. How's it going, Magda? It's getting a little hot. Yeah. But look at this. It's really peaceful, beautiful. You can't really see anything for miles and miles or kilometers and kilometers. But we're taking it easy on the sand dunes because we want to run well at night. Cheers. The Al Marmoun Desert is part of the 15% of Dubai's landmass given over to conservation areas. When you look up and uh, you see the dunes in the horizon, it's mesmerizing, it's beautiful, and it's something that you have to experience it to really understand how beautiful it is. The ultramarathon is part of Dubai's drive to be the sporting capital of the Middle East. Its sporting industry brings in $1.7 billion to the Emirate, with 400 events and 2 million spectators in 2017 alone. Dubai want to be anything that is setting record, tallest, fastest, biggest, and so forth. So it made sense to, uh, to create such an event here where it is harder than most other ultra marathons in sand and we have just done it. TVs have gotten a little bigger since Super Mario Kart was first released on the Super Nintendo in 1992, but a 65 inch LED has nothing on this 100 foot tall jumbotron. This video was recorded by a news helicopter that just happened to be flying by the home stadium of the Kansas City Royals while someone was playing Mario Kart. The Royals team charity said on Twitter that the game was being played as part of a fundraiser. So Yoshi, it was for a cause. If you're jealous, you can't Rosaline on anger. That gets towed after a while. You gotta be a good Koopa Troopa and get Mari over it. At least you got today's see it on a Bowser. And let me just conclude that gaming on a Jumbotron looks like a more ton of fun. We should all make peach with the fact that it's a great cart of Major Luigi Baseball. I'm Carl Azus, CNN 10. Hope you have a great weekend.